what's up, so I'm going to play the new Hero CC on Advanced Server. She's a new fighter that uses a yo-yo as her weapon and she deals physical damage. Are her yo-yos strong enough to compete with the other fighters? And why am I jungler? Well, no one wanted to jungle, so here I am. So first question is, can she clear the jungle fast? I'd say she's decent enough. Not too slow and not too fast. What you're seeing is the nerfed version of CC right after they reduced her damage because she was jungling too fast. So the red buff took 3 first skills before it died. So my first build is everyone's favorite early game item, Fury Hammer. Every physical jungler uses this because of its high stats. I'm sensing an incoming nerf on this item, but that's just my guess. Hopefully it doesn't come true. The enemy jungler Julian just used his full combo. That means he's gonna be helpless for the next 9 seconds. When against heroes, CC is extremely effective because her first skill deals HP-based damage. If you reviewed her earlier fight, she was able to dish out 1700 damage from a single skill and she's only level 3. So damage-wise, she's quite fearsome. Bye, have a great time. She's so scary, Yin had to flicker away. Anyway, time for the first turtle. So with the turtle, it only took 3 first skills and a bit of help from Navaria. Damage is good, right? But jungling isn't all about damage. CC doesn't have the ability to secure the objective against a retribution battle. Prominent junglers have certain skills that make them efficient in last hitting the Lord and Turtle. Example is Lancelot's second skill that deals damage all the while giving him immunity. Another sample is Akai where he can push away the enemy jungler so that he can secure the Lord. Unfortunately, CC doesn't have any skills like those mentioned. All she has is damage from her first skill. And what's worse is that her first skill will prioritize enemy heroes over the Lord. That means it will change target if an enemy hero enters the range. So a retry battle isn't something you'd want to do with CC. There's a fight happening at bottom lane, but it looks like the enemies are retreating, so I'll go this way instead. And here comes my second kill. What? Novaria stole my kill right under my nose. I think CC will do well in the experience lane because of her range and sustain. If you take a look at her basic attacks, it's melee but with a larger reach. This is similar to Kaja but it's still considered melee because she can hit multiple targets. However, that's not where her main damage comes from. Her primary source is her first skill which, if we take a look at the range, is almost the same compared to other marksmen. So she has range, sustain, and if you've noticed, she has no mana. It's perfect for experience lane because she doesn't have to recall much. One quick visit at bottom lane before we head for the second turtle. So that's a good gank and we should leave it at that. No point in overstaying because there's a chance that the other enemies are on their way. So this is her damage against the second turtle. That's 2,000 points of damage from a single skill. Is it high or just normal for a jungler? For those who don't know yet, CC's first skill deals damage that's based on the target's HP. It starts at 4% max HP and it can increase with attack items and level. It hits 10 times so that's minus 40% HP for the enemy. This skill allows her to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against Uranus and Terizla. And we have another fight at bottom lane. Man, that Novaria sure likes to KS. So far, CC looks promising for a fighter, but as always, there will be some ways to counter her. Number 1 is the item anti Keras because she's a skill-based hero. Crowd control is also going to mess her up because she doesn't have any kind of immunity or anti-CC skill. Slow effect is also a weakness since she relies on movement speed.
Another feature of CC's first skill is its ability to hit towers. This is good because she can do basic attacks during her first skill. Our Navarya got kidnapped. I'm going to wait here in case she dies. That was a close call. It's a good thing CC has a double dash skill. Did you know that the yo-yo trick she performs with her first skill is called Loop the Loop? CC, being a yo-yo fighter herself, takes it up a notch when using her ultimate. She brings out another yo-yo and uses both hands to execute the loop the loop trick, elevating the complexity. Additionally, when she's stationary, she effortlessly demonstrates the walk the dog trick. Her mastery of these tricks stems from her backstory as a circus performer, and their group once paid a visit to Eamon's gloomy castle. Are they related? Is she on a long-distance relationship with Eamon? We don't know yet. So that her turtle is secured and we have a solo Moskov at bottom lane. Watch the damage. I know there's a 2 level gap, but the damage output is scary. All it took was one skill and a basic attack to send Moskov to the grave. Plus the best part is, there's no need for precise aiming. That's one of her key advantages, she's very user friendly. Activate her first skill and you can sit back and watch her enemies meet their doom. Another thing I like with CC is her movement speed despite the recent nerf. She's still fast and that's what makes her fun to play. You can easily chase down enemies with her passive. And if they get too far, you can always follow with her second skill dash. In this game, I was aiming for a 4% cooldown build so that I have less downtime with her first skill. This build also focuses on movement speed, which is crucial to her game style. Our team is now on a commanding lead and we have a level 1 lord on its way at top lane. But we still need to be careful because the enemies have late game heroes like Sicilian and Moskov. Alt is not ready. Given the level gap, can CC take on multiple enemies just like the other fighters? Let's find out! Well, that's clearly a disadvantage, but let's say on a 1 vs 2 scenario, CC will still have a hard time. Keep in mind that her first skill can only target one opponent and the damage is gradual. She lacks a burst damage feature resembling more of a damage over time fighter like x -Borg. The key distinction between them is that CC's damage is HP based. In other words, if you linger within her range for too long, she'll progressively chip away at your HP until it's gone. Another problem with CC is tower lock. You can't make your first skill attack the tower if there's a hero nearby. Hopefully, the developers can address this in a future update. An enemy has been slain. Sorry.
So what can you say about CC? Do you like her skills? Share your thoughts in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.